Elrond, god of the forest, source of all life. He released his servants, the divine spirits, unto the lands. He spoke, I am that which is giving you life. For a time they brought life and happiness to the forest. Soon the forest was visited by fate. The divine spirits created a beast in their own image. Elrum warned, that is the beast of knowledge, and it will someday bring temptation upon you. Thou shalt not associate with it. The divine spirits so promised, and gave birth to the beast of their own image. Such was man's beginning. Time passed, and the forest was again visited by fate. A divine spirit was seduced by a beast of knowledge, and so the promise to Elrun was broken. The spirit lost its divine power, and by the child of man and spirit it was gained. This new power threatened Elrun, and so was divided into light and darkness. Hello, Jono here, and thank you for joining me as I take on Jade Cocoon. Story of the Tammy Mayu? Jade Cocoon, right. The closest I've done to playing this is I had a demo of it way back yonder. Um, all I remember was you were in like a forest and I think you, you fight animals using other animals, so a lot like Pokemon. Um, I think it's an RPG. I did actually see it in a store a long time ago, and I was weighing up whether to buy this or Final Fantasy VIII. I went with Final Fantasy VIII. So now it's time to redeem myself. I'm not saying Final Fantasy VIII was a bad choice or anything, but it's my chance to, to play this. I am the Nagi prophet, Yi. I see the future through the words of God. I'm glad he's got subtitles. I feel before me the one who shall lead our Little too echoey. to repose. That brave stature. It is just as the hunter who is praised in our legends. That hunter shall be known as... Okay, uh, that hunter shall be known as Levon. The curse shall not be lifted until we are led to eternal repose. May the protection of Aaron be his. The festival of the Father, the sound of winged minions, and so begins the ordeal. And the graphics quite nice. The tune of a cocoon master is such an enchanting sound. You will be a cocoon master someday. Oh, <laughs> okay. After all, you are the son of a cocoon master. That's the way it is. And as a Nagi woman, I will be your bride. Oh. But you know, 
but you know, insert name here. Hey you two, getting a little hot up here if you know what I mean. Oh God, I immediately don't like this person. Louie, this is none of your business, kid. Get out of here. You look like the same age. I'm not a kid. And besides, this watchtower's my responsibility. I have a job. Not like your stupid cocoon master. So there! Alright. Don't be messing around. All Just right. tomorrow's the festival, you idiot. <laughs> Kick him. You're all talk. And a bucktooth idiot, too. Everyone's idiots. Sheesh, I wonder what his problem is. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Some minstrels are coming to the village square tomorrow. Is that his problem? I bet they'll have some great tales to tell. Let's invite Kelmar too, okay? Well, we better get some rest. See you at the village square tomorrow. Don't forget. So it's going to be one of those games where the protagonist doesn't talk. And if this is an RPG, it's going to be really strange. Okay. My home, Silk Mill. Watchtower. I guess we just go home. Alright, okay. I get to play. Alright, let's run. Is there an interact button? Oh, that was weird. Kind of backed away. Welcome home. Levant. Tonight is a very special night. We welcome the spirits of our ancestors. But your father might still be alive out there somewhere, so he won't need our welcome. Instead, I prayed to the god of the forest for his safety. I know how forgetful you are. Remember to write important things down before you forget. Remember to remember to write them down. Okay, you're not going to say that. You are leaving early tomorrow, aren't you? Better get to bed then. Oh, fuck you, I'm going to stay up. Good idea. Well then, sweet dreams, my son. Go with me. Come back. You mean to be my wife soon? Ah, oh, okay. Now I'm playing. God, am I lost? Levant. You don't need to be mean to me! Fucking tripping balls here! Jesus. Oh my god! What the hell? Is he a mushroom? Are you from Cyrus? What are you doing out here? 
Without the Lion of Terror, Cyrus should not have a Cocoon Master. So you are the son of the Lion of Terror. Hmm. Well now. Let's see how you measure up to your lineage. Alright, okay, so fight time. Dream Man. Capture level one. Okay. Summon, capture. I guess I'll just attack him. Take that! Did I even do any damage? And maybe I killed him. Oh my god, he's a dragon! Oh. I'm hoping that it's just gonna be one of those fights where you lose no matter what. I'm not doing any damage. Let's see what happens. I'll just keep attacking. Because I thought this was you use creatures to fight creatures. Oh, and I'm dead. Without the power to summon yeah, a yeah. magic beast, you are no threat to me. Just the son of a coward. <laughs> a bit harsh. You turned into a dragon. Couldn't fight me like a man. This better not be game over. Levant. Wake up. Levant. You cried out in your sleep last night. Are you all right? Aren't you going to go see Mabu today? Didn't you say that you would? I say a lot of things. They are all waiting Maybe I don't. for you. No right. Oh, there's a little shiny thing here. I didn't interact with that. Come quick! It's it's terrible. I can tell by the look on your face. There's a thundering noise coming from the forest. Maybe it's thunder. It's got to be the demons. Oh no, Mabu! She's gone off to the watchtower all by herself. If it really is demons, she could be in danger. Let's go now. Demons. Oh my god, demons. Over there, demons. Or aeroplanes. Are they aeroplanes? Is she summoning them? What is happening? Whoa! I can't tell what the hell they are. Why are they like locusts? Uh, spray me! Uh, what's going on? The beasts of knowledge, touched by the misery of the Great Father, they release a white beast unto the forest. Its howl is the requiem of souls. The hell does that mean? Tradition. Hordes of winged insects have broken through the divine barrier and attacked the village. What can this mean? At long last, has Elrum's Day of Judgment come to Cyrus? I do not oh, believe a woman. that the divine man. barrier of Gehenna will hold much longer. We must act. Do you not think so, High Priestess Garai? 
Destruction is often what comes of the beasts of knowledge. This could be an act of man. The minions of the forest could not have broken through the divine barrier on their own. Whatever the cause may be, once the insects flew off, many of our people fell into a sleep from which they cannot wake. We must Indeed. do something. I deeply regret to say, those winged insects are the only boo-boo. Not our locust. Locusts of apocalypse. The dust spread by the only boo-boo plunges all into sleep. Returning them to the earth. See, it did. I hear the ancient empire of Gahina Pale was swallowed into the forest by an Onibubu attack. It is a pity, but never again shall they wake. Because they are dead. A pity, is it? <laughs> How dare you! The only reason we allowed a wanderer like you to live here is because we believed in the divine magic of the Nagi. But you've let our people fall ill without even trying to help, and still you do nothing. So, your divine magic and spells were all just a hoax. What? You say there is some other way? Such as offering some kind of human sacrifice to pacify the forest? That was a bit of a, uh, an extreme leap there. Better I didn't say anything like that. The source of evil before it came to this. If all it would have taken was a sacrifice. Foolishness. The forest lends no ear to the wishes of man. If you speak the truth, then the evil spirits must be imprisoned, one and all. Both of you, quiet down. Now, Garai, are you saying there is no way to awaken them? The souls of those fallen to sleep wander the dream world. To retrieve their souls and return them to their bodies, we must... Yes! That's it! The Calabas Herb! If only we had the legendary herb, might it not cure the sleep sickness? Well now, Garai, are you not well versed in the ways of the forest? Chieftain, what do you say about sending <laughs> Garai into the Volunteer. forest? Volunteer. What would that accomplish? I would just be swallowed up and never heard from again. Although, the herb is said to cure the sleep sickness. Well then, tell us if there is some other way. Or are you just going to sit around and let them all die? You always were a stranger among us any further sacrifice will be the end of the village tradition states that a cocoon master shall suppress the demons since the lion of peril is no more we have little choice we must send a new cocoon master into the forest Karai we must perform the sacred union. We of the Nagi were born to live together with the Cocoon Masters. Mabu should not object. It is all for the sake of Cyrus. We are prepared. So, then it is decided. Summon our new cocoon master, Lavant. the son of the line of peril, and Mabu, maiden of the Nagi tribe. Have them both come to the Hall of Judgment.
In order to cure the sick, the Calabas herb must be retrieved from the forest. You are the child of a long line of cocoon masters in Cyrus. On this day, the sacred union shall be performed. As the successor to the Lion of Peril, you shall determine the fate of us all. Lavant. I believed in your father, Riquettes. He was a courageous yet gentle man. Even though he was swallowed up by the forest when the tide of fortune turned against him. He was certainly not a coward, as the villagers might have called him. Stand tall and work hard. I wish you luck in your father's stead. Oh yes. Lavant. You must also cherish your wife. Oh jeez. A devoted husband is a Nagi woman's only salvation. Jesus. Seems a bit um I think so. You will understand someday. May fortune be with you in battle. Oh no, more talking. It's been like twenty minutes. Oh my god. Oh my god, hurry up! Fucking hell. According to tradition, I hereby conduct the sacred union. Are you both ready? Take a knee. Oh, Elrum, god of the forest. Oh, forest, mother to all. We, the beasts of knowledge, born of the forest, once again grant us here this day that which touches and moves thy worried heart, so that we, as beasts, may live in harmony with the forest. Oh, so wise. Oh, so wise. This is the earring of the hunter, symbol of your coming of age. Thank you. As long as you possess it, you may escape death, even when defeated in the forest. What? It is my farewell gift. Why don't you just keep that for yourself? To the land Go in there. Of ordeal. Now then, listen well, you two. Some people fear cocoon masters and call them impure hunters. Many will be prejudiced toward you. Nevertheless, you must persevere in your lonely struggle. A terrible ordeal also awaits the women of the Nagi. The infections on their bodies are the side effects of the cocoon purification process. These are known as cursed brandings. In the worst case, this can even cause death. Please, care for one another in sickness and in health. Lavon. Tomorrow your lonely struggle shall begin. You're not really selling it too well, are you? Sleep well this night, so that you may be ready to depart come morning. Come to my house. We must prepare what you need for your journey. Hunter's earring received. The hell is he doing? Ah, I knew you'd be here. What's the matter? Oh, I bet you're nervous. So much happened all at once today. I'm worn out. Adults always have to have it their way. That's why I don't like them. Okay. 
But it's strange, isn't it? Why is it that only Nagi women are able to purify? Mother Garai says it's divine power. But it doesn't seem that the villagers think so. Who's up there? And who's playing that awful flute music in the middle of the night? No one. After what already happened today? Do you want the monsters to attack again or something? Those skinny low leagues. Don't you have work to do tomorrow? Go to bed already! Oh my god, shut up! What do you want? Oh, you must be scared. Isn't it past your bedtime? Or are you too afraid to go to sleep? I already told you! I'm not a kid! Levant. Try not to get eaten alive out there, tough guy! But I guess there's nothing scarier than Mabu! Ah! You are such a brat! You're making me lose my temper, you little twit! Well, we have an early start tomorrow. Better get to bed. And don't oversleep, young cocoon master. See you tomorrow. Oh my god. The shit again. According to your life from this day forward, we do something? So you dress like you've become a man. Still you are but the son of a coward. Like father, like son. That Nagi maiden shall be left behind when you are killed in the forest. Oh, I didn't even see that little fucker down there. Alright. Time for my famous attack. Oh, I actually did damage. I can, I can beat him. Yeah. Ah, touche. But what do you think of that? Wow, critical. It's unfortunate that that plant, just by the enemy's name, looks like a penis. Yeah, take that, fucker. I am the Cocoon Master! Master of all cocoons! Impressive. You are more capable than I expected. That's right. But such is not our true power. Do you think you were up to it? No. Ah, oh, another fight. Infinite health. Take that! It does nothing. Form of... A dragon again. Minion. Ow. I really hope that I am meant to die to this one again. I mean, if it doesn't have HP, it suggests that. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh. Ha! Beaten already. And you call yourself a cocoon master. Not really. You are nothing but the son of a coward. <laughs> yeah, you keep playing it, no. Come on, something else. Why 
white is the beast of faith. Blue is the beast of righteousness. All right. Lavant. Wake up. Lavant. <sighs> I really don't get why they give you the option to name your character, but with spoken dialogue, it just makes it odd. You cried they should out just in your sleep last keep the name night. as Lavant. Are you all right? Oh no, déjà vu. From this day forward, you are the cocoon master of Cyrus. You must be strong. Now, you had better head over to Mother Garai's house. Mabu is probably waiting for you there, too. Oh, you finally come by, have you? I have something I want to give you right away. Have a seat right here. Yeah, there's that glowy thing again. Soon you will enter the forest as a cocoon master. At the forest entrance, there are four gates through the divine barrier. To pass through them, you must have the right key. One of them is here in Cyrus. It is the key to the beetle gate. Louis the Watchtower God has it. Oh no! Once you get the key from Louis, you must go deep into the beetle forest. Another cocoon master lives there. People call him the Blue Cocoon Master. His name is Chorus, and he's a very capable man. Finding the Calibus herb is important, but first you must learn to fend for yourself. No doubt there is much you can learn from him, for he too is a cocoon master. Yeah, you already said that. In the meantime, I have gathered what you will need for your journey. If you need something else, you should go to the town shop. Wounds can only be healed by mugwort herbs. Make sure you have enough. Did, uh, are you giving me any? Oh. And do not forget to arm yourself. When your empty cocoons run out, you can get more from Marbu. Oh yes, I almost forgot something very important. I remember your voice. This is the flute of capture. The sound of this flute serves both to imprison and summon minions. Ah. Your father, Riquettes, entrusted it to me. A fateful meeting it was. Ah, but perhaps some other time I will tell you all about it. Yes, please not now. Flute of capture received. You received supplies for your journey. Bye. What's this thing? Capture level 1, experience none. What's that? Ah, okay. Cool, I will definitely save. Okay, so in trying to save it actually froze the game. So I had to go through all of that dialogue and shit again. Which is perfect because all I wanted to do was save and then say that's it for this episode. I know there wasn't much actual gameplay. Sorry about that. But I want to stick with like a half an hour episode. And I guess there was a lot of story to cover. Hopefully in the next episode we start to actually play the fucking game. So until then, thank you very much for watching. And take it easy.